Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to more Tax Murphy. And really not too sure. I've looked around town and stuff. Still couldn't find anything. I had a buddy who suggests, well, maybe... Maybe you can uh, get a wire from the piano to do things. So I'm going to try and see if I can... Nope. Uh... Seen that. A Larson Grand. Nope. Uh, maybe there's something underneath it. Can I look? Oh, which one's the control? Yeah. Huh. Can we, can we snap those? I'm assuming that's still part of the piano. So, nope. We cannot do anything. Um, all right. What? Well, whoa, whoa, slow down there. So we need to get what's in there. We can't take that. Because we tried that already. We can't go in it. Um. Hmm. Can we... Well, that's not gonna work. Well, that's not... No... Well, that's not gonna. What? Wait. What? Even chlorinated water looks better in a champagne glass. Why the hell do I need? Even chlorinated water looks. What? What do we need? What? Okay. Oh my god. I'm trying to understand the logic here and I just can't find it. Can we use that with this? Well, that's not gonna work. Can we use that with this the little thing over here with the cork in it? Are you serious right now? As I fill up the mounted vase, the champagne cork flows to the top. I'm just gonna reach in and pick it up. Are you serious right now? Whatever. What? Ever. Okay. I can just get this piece of wire off. There we go. Okay. No, I didn't I didn't want the hint. Sorry, I meant to hit the exam. I didn't look at that by the way. Uh well I'm just assuming we take the wire and like and we get the thing out of it. No, not down. Or is it down? In the wrong thing. There we go. Down. I'm... I like the game. Don't get me wrong. I feel like some of the puzzles are a little... dumb. Well, that's not gonna work. Do I combine that with the foil? Or the magnet? Foil? Do I combine that with a K? No. Sis? No. Looks like a couple of objects have fallen into the drain. That screwdriver I could undo. Yeah. 
Uh, maybe I was wrong. Well, that's not gonna. Well, that's not. Do I have to like target it specifically? Like, let's get, let's get down. Like down. Well, that's not gonna work. Well, that's not. Okay. Well then. Hmm. <laughs> We've got one curious thing to another curious thing. What do I need the wire for then? So I can't combine it with anything. So... Do I... Can I use the magnet? I thought I tried this already. Well, that's not good. Yeah, I tried the magnet already. Okay, so we have a piece of wire. And... The piece of wire... Does... Mm, it smells terrible, but it's got a magnet on it. Magnets can be handy. I did not mean to hit that button. I meant to... I meant to... Try and recenter my view. Alright, so... Is there anything up... Oh, gosh. Is there anything up here? No. Mm. Do I... Can I pick up... Can I pick up the cans now? No. Maybe I can go in from it from this end. Well, that's not gonna work. No. Unless... Well, that's not... Alright, so I have a piece of wire. A piece of wire. Wire, wire, wire. Wire, wire, wire. Okay. Was there anything in any of the other rooms that I can remember? Uh, frilly panties. I hope they aren't set. That's right. No. No, no. Oh, do I just use the wire to lockpick the This? Yep, apparently. Alright. What is inside? Oh, it's a shoelace. I hope it hasn't been used inappropriately. What What does that even mean? Was he using it for auto-erotic asphyxiation? She choked him. With the lace. And then he finished. Um, all right, so now do I use the shoot? Do I, okay. <laughs> do I tie the shoelace to something? So I was right. It just took five different more leaps of logic to get to where I was going. Gotcha, game. Figuring you out, you, you silly, silly batch. So now I use this on this. Well, that's not gonna work. Never mind. No, I don't. Well, that's not <laughs> Wait. No, 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 no. Hold up. I was clicking here on the screwdriver. But then I click over here, not on the screwdriver, and it works. I clicked over there on accident. Okay, game. You do you. Yep, that's a... That's a screwdriver. Hmm, looks like a roll of film down there. I believe it's a roll of nutty pictures. All right, well, give me that. Oh, okay. 
and I think I know where we have to go next. Pretty sure we have to go to the... Unless there's something else I need? I, I think that the whole point is getting the roll of film. Like, I don't think I need the camera. So I'm assuming that I go to here and I develop the pictures. But who knows what else I need to do to develop the pictures. Oof. Doing all that was not made zero sense. We're definitely not going to look in the vat of acid. Um, can I use the roll of film with... Well, that's not going to work. Well, that's not going to work. Okay, so... Posters in here tell you more than you'd ever care to know about film processing. Well, I need to know about film processing, my good man. Developing. Can I use the roll of film with this? Well, that's not going to work. Okay, um... Dark room stuff. Posters in here tell you more than... Do I need to... Oh my gosh. Do I need to get all the dark room stuff? Okay. Maybe I need to ask about... So I don't think there's anything else in the, in the, the, jeez, my brain, the hotel that I need. Talk to me, handsome. Oh, that music. Hey, how you doing? Developing film? Hmm. So, nah, she has nothing I need. Um, who would have the things I would need to develop film? Inventory? Aha! Uh -huh. Look at what we have. Photomatic Pro. Well, it's the Photomatic Plus Film Developing Kit. How convenient. How does this guy have everything we need? When we need it, I want to see if he if he answers like if he's like, oh, I've got the photo developing thing. <laughs> well, what are you looking for? <laughs> what are you looking for? Oh no, he's just saying the same stuff. How about something delicious, but not too fattening? There's a dairy air not far from here. Try the super tofu burger. The Super Tofu Burger. It sounds delicious. Well, I guess give me this. That thing's going to have, like, a lot of dead on it. So we have a film developing kit. Let's examine it. That definitely looks like a Photomatic Pro. Now, do I have to take that into a dark room, or do I just combine the two? Just combine the two. <laughs> Incriminating photos of Sal. Let's examine them. Pictures are sick. Francesca will be so happy. <laughs> what? I want to examine it again. These pictures are sick. Francesca will be so happy. It's just him playing Twister. Like, granted, it's not the, like, it's, it's definitely not like, oh, these are pictures of him lathering up in baby oil and her whipping his butt with licorice ropes or something. You know what I mean? Anyway. I guess we go over here, open this up, and then she can tell us what she knows about the mugging. And I guess we go from there. Okay, Tex, so what have you got for me? What have you got for me? Here you go. Here's, here's your husband playing a board game with someone in a bikini. 
definitely means they're cheating. Oh, excellent! This will do the job nicely. <laughs> I'll answer all your questions now. <laughs> okay, sure. Sure, sure, sure. Me and Sal got married too young, and it's been up and down ever since. I've had enough of his drinking and the womanizing, and I divorce him in a second, but he's got a couple of buddies who are top lawyers. If I had some hard evidence of his screwing around, I could divorce him and get a decent settlement. But that's, that's what I gave you. I gave you those things. Tell me about the mugging. I was up late, having some espresso, then I saw you get a jump. The guy who hit you was real small, maybe a 5'6", 130 pounds. I didn't see his face. He took your package you were carrying, then ran off. It looked like a professional hit, but he wasn't trying to kill you. Believe me, if he wanted to, he could have. After the first guy took off, I saw another guy come running down from your office. He bent over you and went through your car. Then he ran off, too. I recognized the second guy. He was a mutant named Pug. In fact, I remember seeing him hanging around your office for the past few days. Anyway, I went over to make sure you were okay. Sal showed up a few minutes later, and I made him carry you up to your office. That's all I know. Huh. Interesting. Pug is ugly as sin and smells like he sleeps in a latrine. On and off for the past week or so, I've seen him keeping an eye on your office. Where can I find him, though? Okay. So now I'm assuming either she's going to know about him or my buddy guy is going to know about him. Or the dude that's uh, the nose guy is going to know about him. How can I help you, Tex? Well, we can start by not getting dead. Sorry, I haven't heard anything about that. Oh, well, okay. Well, I do have... I'm not too sure if I'm going to have to use the description thing. But... I have a feeling since the guy did like a shape change thing, it won't really matter. Hiya, matey! <laughs> Are you Murphy? Need to ask about Pug. Well, Pug and I used to hang out sometimes, but I haven't seen him for a while. I heard he's gotten a job of some kind. He doesn't work very often, and he usually sleeps in a box down by the Snow White warehouse. Aha! Uh -huh. Wait, that's the warehouse. It's just right. Following over. Beak's instructions, I hang around the warehouse. Not long after, a gust of wind carries a horrible stench into my nasal passages. I turn and see a shadowy figure waddle into the alley. The way you look at me, it makes me nervous. <laughs> that is not what I was expecting when it came to what they were describing. Um... <laughs> ominously pleasant. Oh, don't get me wrong, Pug. I'm here for a friendly chat. You mean, you're not here to hurt me. <laughs> Why does he have that? <laughs> you're not here to hurt me. Like the, like a... Ah, oh, what's the, what's the... That one guy, the one actor. Can't think of it. But he taught, he was like, he's always like the, the, the... The minion guy. Uh... uh let's... I don't know, let's go there. Well, now that you mention it, I guess I am. I must be going now. Uh... Huh? Listen, I brought my gun. I don't fire as many warning shots as I used to. This talk of guns has frightened me. I think I've soiled myself. <laughs> what is actually... What's happening? What's happening? What's... What's happening right now? Oh my god. I think I think I have just poopied my pants. Violent with a culinary twist. 
I think maybe I'll turn that mug of yours into gulag. Oh, that's not what I was thinking. Your threaten has caused me to whip myself. <laughs> Why are you treating me like I'm some kind of criminal? Uh, state the obvious? I don't know, because you are one. You're a cynical person, if you'll forgive my saying so. I, I... Right. Who, me? Cynical? What a load of crap. Now give me my wallet before I break you in half. Here's your wallet. You will see I have spent very little of your money. <laughs> what? Tell me, how did you find me? Stinky wit? Just the facts, man. Uh... Uh, stinky what? No. Yeah. I was downwind, El Stinko. Well, pardon me. I'll go take a bath. What are we doing now? Not so fast. I found out a lot about you, including the fact that you were tailing me. I was hired to follow you. I provide people with information through ways of my own. <laughs> Uh, okay. Uh. Oh, and stealing my wallet was in the job description. No, I'm just looking for ways to make extra money. <laughs> I was hired by an old P.I. who called himself the Colonel. He paid me to follow you and report back on everyone I saw you talk to. He also wanted me to tell him if I saw you with a little statue of a bird. He told me very little else, though he said that he had to find out if you could be trusted. There, I have told you everything I know. Now let me go, and I shall not bother you again. I love the acting in this game. It's amazing. I must go and never bother you again. I am very stinky. I have pooped myself. And now I have peed myself. Oh boy. It's a bad day for me. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and save, save, save it. Ooh, save it real quick. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's go. Let's go. To the Colonel's. It's the only other place I can think to go to. And I mean, that's where we seem to be headed. So. Let's see what we can find out from El Colonel now. Maybe we can get some chicken. Ha ah, ha ha. The Colonel was my mentor in the detective biz. When I was a young, idealistic crime fighter, I didn't understand some of the Colonel's unethical PI methods. I reported the Colonel to the PI licensing board and his license was temporarily revoked. In the years since, I've come to understand and even occasionally use the Colonel's questionable methods, but we've never made up. I haven't seen the Colonel's office since we fell out 15 years ago. From the look of the exterior, the Colonel's kept it up nicely. I knock on the door and it swings open. The place is trashed. Hmm. Oh, I guess I'm going to have to put off that trip to the Caribbean. <coughs> Maybe permanently. My God, what happened? Who did this to you? A chameleon. Uh, he's some kind of shapeshifter. I swear he's the devil himself. What did he want? Why did he attack you? Oh. He thought I had it. When he found out I didn't, he tried to torture me and to tell him where it was. And he got impatient, stuck a knife in my chest. I must have passed out. I ain't enough sleep last night. Well, what was he looking for? I had a winter chip. The cult wants it. They're planning a doomsday party. I'm afraid whoever's got the chip might stop him. You're going to have to find it and get it to Capricorn. Yeah, they know what to do with it. But I don't know where to look. 
You gotta give me some help. Uh, there's no time. There's a disc by the bookcase. It's got information on the winter chip. Don't fail me, Tex. I hope to God you've learned something after all these years. I fly the colonel to the hospital and the attendants rush him into surgery, but won't tell me what his chances are. I know I should go and search the colonel's office for the disc he referred to, but I'm having a hard time keeping my eyelids popped open. I decide to go back to my office for a couple of hours of shut-eye. As I open the door, I catch a whiff of expensive perfume, then feel my jaw slam into a brick wall. When my vision clears, I'm seated across from a beautiful oriental woman with matching goons on either side of me. Good evening, Mr. Murphy. Please, have a seat. <laughs> well, there's a lot to attack right now. Uh, first off, Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, I love this game. So, the colonel gets stabbed. <laughs> stabbed. Stabbed. By the same guy. <laughs> the same guy that beat up Tex. Because they want the winter chill or something or whatever it was called. I, I love the colonel. <laughs> oh, I've, I've been stabbed in the chest, Murphy. Oh, man. I didn't sleep good last night. But I've been stabbed in the chest. I may die. Not too sure yet. Haven't thought it through. Anyway, what do you need? Could you give me a burger? I have a knife in my chest. You want to know other stuff? That's okay. Just got a knife in my chest. <laughs> anyway, okay. Um, let's, let's be good natured. Gee, thanks. My dogs are really tired. Yes, you've been very busy, haven't you? Let me introduce myself. My name is Eddie Ching. Wait, what? <laughs> what? That wasn't what I was expecting. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, they're mad. <laughs> you're Eddie Ching? Sure hope you're not here to kill me. <laughs> that will depend on you, Mr. Murphy. I have learned that you were hired to steal a statuette for my apartment. I admire the skill you display in doing so, but I must now ask you to return the bird to me. About that. Yeah, <laughs> pathetic groveling. <laughs> um, do we tough guy, or do rude guy, or pathetically grovel? Um, let's 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 be a tough guy. Life is hard, Ching. I was hired to return the statuette to its rightful owner. Unfortunately, someone stole it from me before I could return it to her. It's gone? You imbecile! Have you no idea what you've done? You were set up. The person who hired you belongs to a group so powerful, they may hold the fate of the world in their hands. The statuette is worthless, except to this cult. And I went to great lengths to keep it from them. And all it took was one idiotic P.I. to give these fanatics the talisman they need to lose the demons of hell upon the earth. I, you know, I'm loving the acting. Give me this. This is like my serotonin. Like this. This is, I love everything about all this. Um. Okay, I made a mistake. You won't help things by calling me names. <laughs> oh, jeez. You obviously don't understand what I'm saying. With the statuette, the cult will fulfill its prophecies, unleashing an unimaginable flood of destruction. The prophecy is supposed to be fulfilled in six days. If the statuette is not recovered before then, nothing will matter. 
we'll all be dead. Um, okay. You seem to know a lot about this cult and were able to get the statuette in the first place. Why don't you send some of your goons out and clear up the problem? The cult knows about me. They tried several times to steal the statuette once they learned I had it. They will not allow me or my operatives to obstruct their plans. You, however, they do not consider to be a threat. The cult is behind the crusade for genetic purity. I don't know any more than what I've told you, except for the identity of the man who set you up. He is known as the Chameleon. If you can find him, you will be within reach of the statuette. You should realize that your blunder makes you responsible for 10 billion lives. Hope for your own sake that you can succeed where more powerful people cannot. Let this be a reminder to you not to repeat your mistakes. If you fail, I will see you in hell. <laughs> what is going on? So did he have the chip or not? I never found out. My usual methods of persuasion weren't working. So I had to get a little more forceful. Next thing I know is Light Squad. I think I killed him. Dead men don't help us. We've got to find out about that chip. If the Colonel didn't have the chip, then he probably sent it to Murphy. Stick around and keep tabs on him until the last second. But don't kill him. If the chip doesn't show up, make sure Murphy doesn't blunder into our path. If you find the chip, destroy it. Then you can do what you want with Murphy. Maybe I need a career change. Two days in a row waking up in a semi-conscious stupor is enough for anybody. My nose is so sore my eyes water when I inhale and all my front teeth shift slightly when I exhale. On top of all this, I found out that the world population could be annihilated because of me. That's just too much guilt to heap on a guy at this hour of the morning. Looks like I'm on my own. I'll need to find that disc the Colonel referred to. And what about that Countess? Was she on the level, or was she just feeding me a line? Well, when we come back, we will figure that out. That was, a uh, That was a lot. But now, we may be the reason everybody in the world dies. So, you know, there's that. Anyway, till then, y'all take care. And, of course, have a good one. <laughs>